All right, folks, welcome back to another section on canine health. Today's episode is pretty important as well because we're going to talk about why genetic testing is so important to the puppies. Well, Lisa, today we've got Annie, and she's an eight-month-old female. Now, she's never had any genetic testing done yet. Is it too late to do so? It's never too late to test your puppy. Paw Print Genetics recommends that you test puppies just after they've been weaned. What's important is that you test your dog prior to starting extensive training because you'll be spending a lot of time and money in training your dog and you want to make sure that they won't develop diseases later on. Many of the diseases that we test for are later onset conditions. So although she's fine just now, you don't know if later she might develop um, blindness or kidney problems or perhaps even epilepsy. How important is the type of testing you do? I hear a lot that um, we have blood testing, they take it out of the dew claws. Um, you take cheek swabs, is there any difference? So all of the cells of our body contain DNA. So we could use blood, but we've chosen at Paw Print Genetics to use cheek cells. So we simply take a swab on the inside of the cheek so that we don't hurt the dog. And so that's, we, we call it non-invasive. Well, that's, well, there's a lot of our viewers that would rather do that than... Right, and so you can samples. obtain the sample. You don't need to, to visit your veterinarian in order to get the sample. What questions should we ask our breeder before buying our puppy if they haven't been tested? So it's not enough just to ask if the parents have been tested. The puppies themselves need to be tested if the parents were carriers of any genetic disorders. So before buying that puppy, you should ask if they have a canine genetic health certificate. A canine genetic health certificate will ensure that all of the known mutations, so all the genes that we know we can test for today, have been tested in your dog. Well, Lisa, you've given us a lot of great information. Folks, join us in our next canine health episode where we're going to continue this conversation about canine health.